Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the uh, 1909 Bolo Knife. It's a new reproduction by Madras Arsenal, as it was used in the Philippine Insurrection and in the Punitive Expedition. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Madras Arsenal. Um, as you can see, we've kind of flooded over here, but uh, still going to do a video anyway. Today I'm going to talk about the 1909 Bolo Knife that I've been uh, reproducing here for about two months now. This is an exact reproduction of the 1909 Bolo Knife issued to the United States soldiers who were serving in the Philippines during the 1900s. Um, it also saw limited service over in France in World War I as well. It's got a 14 inch blade, it's got a 6 inch handle, it is full tame, meaning that this whole, this is one solid piece of steel. Okay. It's got three heavy-duty rivets, not the little nails that you see in uh, other reproductions. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the first full-tang reproduction on the market. This is a, an exact copy of my original. It even comes with the same style sheet. And uh, it's pretty lightweight. It weighs in at one pound, about 14 or 15 ounces. Uh, some of you may think that's heavy, but the job that it's going to be performing, you really need that weight, and it's all sort of weighted right around here, okay? Um, that being said, that is the 1909 Bolo Knife, and this is being reproduced by me at McGraw's Arsenal, the first on the market that is a full tang, alright? One of the good things about this, uh, it does have some beautiful handles, it's uh, made of rosewood, it's hard to get walnut where they're being made, uh, but rosewood is closely resembles walnut, so uh, that is why I did that. And let me show you guys how it works. All right, guys, we're gonna see how this uh, bolo knife takes to uh, trimming up and, and cutting down some brush. Alright, so that was pretty light work. Similar to a kukri, you let the uh, you let the blade do the chopping. And uh, being made out of the high carbon spring steel this is, makes for an excellent uh, chopper as you can see. So let's get some close-ups of the chopping and uh, you can see how the blade works. All right, so let's get some close-ups here. Get this out of the way. pretty effortlessly. And that is the 1909 Bolo Knife. This was adopted by the U.S. Army in 1909. It is off an Indonesian uh, 
design and a Philippine design when the US Army was in the Philippines but um, <clears throat> this is an exact reproduction and uh, these will be available uh, very very soon probably in the next couple of weeks and um, these are are very good I am very pleased with how they came out features a 16 inch blade with a 6 inch handle it's very very nice Let's try this again. Well, let's go ahead and we'll start getting these all cut up. Don't really require a whole lot of effort at all. And there you have it, the 1909 Bolo Knife. Pretty good. Watch, this probably has killer bees in it. Oh, jeez. I feel like Mel Gibson and Braveheart or the Patriot. That was so exciting. <laughs> the way you just walked away at that rotten log. Boy, you dirty man. <laughs> I will have to tell my wife Padma Patel.